old movie. This is a song about the flapping of wings and the owl movie. Cha 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 woo woo. Shay, you need to. We need to kill the music. Uh, yeah, I also need to pee. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, right. how do I stop this? Okay, I'm gonna. So I think I will, we we will, we go if if I can. I mean, I'm probably not gonna cut any of this because we have a lo-fi ghetto aesthetic for this show. Um, it's the same as recording? ever. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. We've always had a lo-fi ghetto aesthetic. Um, Are but you recording right yeah, now? I am recording right now. I feel yeah, like I want to just get like the kind of rhythmic. Ch- what's do you want to move the table more centrally? Yeah. Don't no, worry, this podcast is already a Are disaster. Are you going to edit some of it now, never. by any chance? No, I will never edit anything, ever. Apart from that one time there was an edit, but I'll never tell when it was. <laughs> Welcome back to Heard You Saw. We are joined with the full... This is the full podcast crew, isn't it? Plus Jess. Hey, Jess. Hey. <laughs> uh, we have just watched what I think can be quite the cinematic experience of the Owl movie. Legend is it Legends of Legends the Ga- of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. Gahul. Now I want to say that before we went into this film, um, we, we there was a certain amount of chanting of Owl movie. <laughs> we all we all went in with really high morale and high expectations, and I think we I we went think in it, with high morale. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> this is why you're digger, Morton, because you make crap owl puns. <laughs> So we, we went in wanting to like this film, and I think overall we generally like this film. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Owl movie! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 100% more entertaining than last week's film. Oh god, oh, yeah. yeah. This, what, a, what a palate cleanser from Jumanji. Uh, we will begin, as always, with our usual one-line hot takes. Oh, and it, Sean, you were absent last week, so you get the first hot take of the night. I'm still having trouble trying to process just exactly we've just watched. Fair enough! Racy! You're you're from the area. <laughs> you're an owl. I, I, I definitely had a hoot. Oh, oh no. That was oh. in the film. <laughs> 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 not Shay? Uh I'm I'm with Sean. I I I need a moment. I can like, there's a lot to take in. There's like a whole owl society we have to talk about. <laughs> How the owl society works, like economically. Yeah. And their technology <laughs> level is wild. Their technology wild. level. Um, yeah, well, we'll get. We'll all right, all right. That. Jess, your one line hot take of the film? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> EJ? Um, I'm trying to just remember how it compares to the book. <laughs> do you, how well do you remember the books? Just for... I've, I've read it probably. 16 years ago. This may so... become relevant to the recounting of the plot that is about to happen now after my one-line hot take. My, my, <laughs> not, not you, Morton. You're not going to. That's not your role. Uh, my one-line hot take is... Um, it, uh, I had a pun. I've lost it. My, my, I, 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 I had a pun for my one-line take. Oh, yeah, sorry, Morton. Yeah, you your one-line hot take. Go ahead, go ahead. What the flex happened oh! in that? Oh, God. You I, made you made a fuss over that. I Black yes. <laughs> I think my my take has to be that like, even though that was a children's animated movie with owls in it, that was really Zack Snydery. He proved himself to be a talented filmmaker. Yeah. yeah. God. Oh. <laughs> EJ, would you like to recount the plot? Of Legends of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. Okay, I'd like to preface this by saying this is a real movie that was made with the, money. The production values were insanely high. Animators worked really hard. Okay, the plot of this movie there's owls. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! Yeah, wait for it. They talk. Um, okay, there's apparently a legend about guardians that had a war one time and then a dude lost his beak and now he's upset so he wears a mask and then uh these two owls who are like what are their names uh Sorin yes and Clud Clud <laughs> Who is the favorite Guess child of the one family? Guess gonna be evil later on. <laughs> <laughs> so they suck and uh, are kidnapped because they're over eager about flying, and they're kidnapped and taken to some kind of cave place with other owls who are 
brainwashed by the moon. Yes. And they're like kind of Nazis taking over. <laughs> <laughs> and you're kind of just wondering like what infrastructure was built to create this sort of situation. The pure the pure one is the name of the leader. Yeah. It's of the of the the not pure subtle. blood Titos. It's not subtle at all. No. Um, they have blacksmiths and uh, bats who work for them, and uh, glowing blue stuff that is never explained. No. Morton Flex. thinks that it's magnets. I think that it's um, magnets. Well, yeah, no, they said that it was little metal flecks that the mice had eaten, and then when they ate the mice, they then pebbled it back up. Pellet. Pellet it back up. Yeah. And they break the pellets, and the metal bits are in there. Why they couldn't just di dissect the mouse to begin with? Because <laughs> it's a PG. True. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go on. EJ, continue. Well, okay, so there's a magnet thing and it controls everyone's brains or something. Uh, and then they... Some <laughs> they guy, gizzards. Like, yeah, gizzards. Yeah, okay. Uh, they escape and go to this tree and everyone... Oh, they meet two people. One of them is Nick and one of them is Morton. Hey! Uh, they go to the tree and the tree are like, Oh, we have a whole secret society and we're the guardians of the thing. And... We don't really believe you, even though, why would you lie? But we'll go send a scout anyway. And they're like, oh, wait, no, it is real. What are they the guardians of? Gahul. Uh, Gahul, and which is And a what tree... lake did they have to fly over? Sea. Oh, Sea, sea. of... Halloumi. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> See, I was thinking of that. I was thinking if there's a long enough pause, I'll chip in with the old Halloumi joke, because I've been I saying always... that since I, I heard it. I don't know what that... Wait, that sounds close enough. I think it was yeah. Hula Meal. The Sea of Hula Meal. Hula Meal. Hula Meal. Oh Hula God. Dance was a joke at one at point. At one point, yes. Okay, so they're there in a tree, and there's like a whole, again, a whole crazy infrastructure here. Hey, what, what kind of scale of living environment would, uh, do these owls... They have stamps in written language. I was going to no, no, but what would you describe, like, the, 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 the kind of habitation that is within the tree? Kingdom. No, oh, but uh, is there not another word for a sort of thriving metropolis... <laughs> Populated oh, purely by... Oh my god! Okay, it's an Owl City! Yes! <laughs> Owl City plays a song on the soundtrack! Yes! The band Owl City! What the fuck? This okay. movie has so many levels! <laughs> Way too spot on. Anyway, they're like, okay, we're gonna train you because there's this, like, wizard dude who is Jeffrey Rush and he's training them and then Soren, like, trusts his gizzard and flies into rain and everyone's like, okay, cool. Um... <laughs> Uh, so they go back and they fight and there's a battle and it's like really incredibly violent but not violent enough. <laughs> and then um, Fire and uh, Claude and Soren battle and Claude like kind of dies but doesn't actually die and he'll probably be a villain in a later film. Which will never happen. Which will never happen. No. That's why it's a book series so read the books if you want more. <laughs> okay, that yeah. is the plot ladies and gentlemen. Okay, who has their first thoughts? Who wants to jump in? On this feathery adventure, EJ is shaking their head. No, I've already spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Racy, what do you think? What do you got for me? Go to the well. Which well? Like the, the give me liquid in the form of words. Oh. What? It was, I liked, I, I mean, I can understand why it plays every school holidays on Channel 9. <laughs> and I, was, I didn't, I completely forgot how many Australian a accents there was in the film. Because cause in Australia, you don't hear the Australian accent. You just sort of go, oh, that, that sounds a bit weird. I wonder why it sounds weird. And then, like, the Simpsons come on and you feel like, oh, because it wasn't an American accent. Okay. Yeah. And, like, I just forgot that part. <laughs> and it was nice. It was nice. There are owls. They didn't say any nice little Australian slang things, which made me sad. No references they to Bogans. They had their own Alice slang. Yeah, Did yeah. Did they? The hoot. I, we, oh. Barely. I, I think we... I was actually... like We were talking about Zack Snyder before we started watching the film. Um, so much slow-mo. Oh, so much slow-mo. He loves ramping, even in an animated medium. I I was I watched the um, movie Bob part three of his Batman vs Superman is actually that bad series that he's been doing, and he focuses a lot on Zack Snyder as a creative voice and said the thing is he's not a hack, because hacks don't take risks. I think we can say he took some really big risks out here of just like hey here's an obscure series of books about owls. I want to make a very high production value animated film. But then it was not that bad. It was all right. 
this was a good movie. <laughs> My problems are with the script, definitely, which he didn't write. Like, <laughs> if you're going to have that much exposition at the start and you're going all the way through, like, the bloody legends and everything, why did you not have any exposition on the fucking flex? <laughs> 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 like, They're blue rocks that glow and make owls go, no. <laughs> they make them have seizures. Like, they, <laughs> they pin them to the floor, yet one of them could fly through it. It was just... I had no well, he was more falling because he here. had like the yeah, fire yeah, thing near yeah, the end. Yeah, he dropped a bomb on, on their really tightly wound cable pulley system. Pulley system that you're just like, how? How? Yeah. Owls are really smart. Yeah. Yeah. Owls are very clever. Shay. Yeah. Uh, we we watched a video of an owl swimming before we watched this film. <laughs> Do you feel that any... prepared for you for the level of intelligence these owls had? No, because they were when you watch the owls swimming. They looked fucking stupid. <laughs> but here... They looked majestic. <laughs> they were so intelligent. They, they knew how to blacksmith, bind books, make confetti. <laughs> yeah, there's the... an events team in this house. <laughs> it was like, oh, we've just defeated the evil Metal Beak. Better get the confetti cannons out. And, oh. Everyone's Is there more? Is there... Yeah. Speak your mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, this film is just like for the first 40 minutes really terrible yeah because you're like I don't care about anything and don't know what's going on or mm. why this is happening this film is an analogy for child trafficking <laughs> slash it's racial radicalization slash of racial radical young white men yeah. this is England kind of thing yeah like <laughs> Clud Clud is Kylo Ren yeah that is what, that's the takeaway that we came from here. That There's every big movie in this film. Star Wars, yep. Lord of the Rings, yep. all that jazz. Yeah. I mean, not not the film all that jazz, I mean that. Like, <laughs> how heavily do I think that, sorry, EJ's question was, how heavily do we think this influenced the new Star Wars films? I see a lot of parallels. I see an awful lot. I mean, oh my, oh man, Sauron goes and meets his leader in a remote area who's become a bizarre old hermit. <laughs> Who's like, oh, I won't fight anymore because I'm Jeffrey Rush. I just want to work on my books. Yeah, yeah. It's like Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. Then there's that bit where he's like, oh, yeah, Jeffrey Rush is going, oh, war, it's not glorious, it's not beautiful, that it's tough and rough. Good for? I look like this. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. And then, <laughs> for the next 45 bit. minutes of the film, it's this beautiful, amazing, glorious war. <laughs> 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 Zack Snyder goes, look how cool war is! <laughs> That's what Jeffrey Rush said. It looks oh. amazing owls decapitating each other. Like, full on. Like, and it, having like, talon oh, blades. I will say oh, that it, it, it was really quite impressive how they managed to cut so artfully around what should have been really <laughs> violent sequences of owls impaling each other, disemboweling each other, tearing heads off. And you're like, Jesus, but it's all very clean. And there's just some feathers to imply. Yeah, yeah, didn't mind an earlier scene where one of the owls was writing with a feather. Well, they could with pull them quill. off themselves. But that's weird. It's it, like writing in your own blood there. Yeah. <laughs> Is it not like finger painting? Is that not a more closer that's like analogy? Off your yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's like cutting off one of your toes and just <laughs> using that as the potato stamp. Just... <laughs> Oh man! Also, owls can make candles, which we saw. I feel like the turning point for this film was once you got through all of the, like Shay says, all of the opening stuff. Once Grimble died, you know that one. What the fuck was that? The old dude who's like, I'm gonna teach. So I need, I need a slightly them. different Australian oh, okay. accent. I'm gonna teach you how to fly, cause I <laughs> promised my dead wife and kids, which I definitely have, that I would train. Some owls who I thought might be okay, and you're okay because you didn't get brainwashed by the moon. <laughs> yeah, so Grimble in the secret Nazi okay. camp trains Soren and the other little owl how to fly and sacrifices Gil Gilfie? himself. Gilfty, 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 Gilfie, Gilfie, sacrifice himself. And at the end, Soren doesn't acknowledge him at all being his teacher <laughs> by helping him. He's like, fuck that Grimble guy. Fuck Hugo Weaving. I, I much prefer Was that, that Hugo Weaving? Hugo Weaving. Oh my god, Hugo Weaving. <laughs> Everyone was in this film. I don't understand. And like, and some Australians. Is this like your Harry Potter? <laughs> 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 it's like if Harry Potter had just never got off the ground, yeah. but had a slightly odd animated version. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, 
we did notice that while the movie did try and have both uh, do this balance of like serious themes versus sort of oh but also f for kids we were all a bit worried that at no point does so at, at the end of the film spoilers uh, Soren kind of accidentally Anakin Skywalker's his brother into a flaming pit of death and then at no point acknowledges that his brother has just died in front of him and then he meets his parents. They're all like, well done, Soren. You saved the day. And he's all like, Clad's dead. But he never <laughs> says that. I like to feel like he had dreams later on where he'd be like, Clad, no. Yeah, that and Alex then they sequel baited it. Mm. They sequel baited yeah. really hard. Yeah, that's why I mean, we was... need to read the book. We should start a book club. But that would, I don't know if that would really work on a podcast yeah, as well. Probably not. You know, uh, we're we're all... you <laughs> oh, oh, no. Podcast. no, we're not going to start making this a brand. That's just <laughs> that's too much. Sean, mm. what were your thoughts? Uh, You've had time to process. <laughs> putting you on the spot. I, I don't. It's just very, very hard to follow, especially in the like first 30, 40 minutes. You get thrown a lot of information, a lot of characters, and honestly, by the end of it, I still don't know what happened really <laughs> it's like it's only an hour and a half long and it's just I can't process what I've watched what the hell happened who the hell is who as well because <laughs> you get thrown about like six dozen different owls in the space of 90 minutes EJ That's... did comment quite early on just being like I can't tell these owls apart <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I confused two of them for a long time, like the same way I've confused Jake Gyllenhaal and the other Jake guy from The Office I thought they were the same person. I thought two of the owls were the same two owls. When you so say the office, do you mean the TV show The Office, not The Office that like? Yes, I'm relating it back to my personal life. Okay. Um, we don't know this, Jake. Are you? Is the other Jack? You mean John Krasowski? Yeah. Jake, Jack, whatever. Look anything alike. They do. And also not two Jacks either. <laughs> there were two owls. There were grey ones. The like bad dude. The other one was Nick. And I thought they were the Link same owls. <laughs> So Twilight and Lord, uh, there was a very confusing one where they had, there was the poet one. Yes. Yeah. And then the traitor one, do you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. two different owls. I totally didn't get that the traitor owl was Jeremy Irons. It wasn't Jeremy yeah. Irons, it was Sam Neill, it turns yeah. out. No, I, I oh, think, yeah. I got oh, okay. confused in the first scene that like the Sam Neill traitor one was in. But like, then they were firmly established as two separate characters for about half an hour. Yeah. So like you but, you switched off at one point. The thing was I didn't get is that like they introduced the the traitor Al character early on in like the shadows being like I will have the Western Kingdoms and the tree. And this is before we no, know that what... was a different owl as well. Who it? was that? No, 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 what the no, no, the no, fuck was that? No, that was the traitor owl. Yeah, I think, yeah, I thought that was the whole point. It was him conspiring with the other guy and being like, oh, that's why he betrayed them later and like let them into the trap. No, I oh I don't know. I thought that was a different owl towards the start, and that was just one of his minions. No, it I, was no, it was someone who was all like, "I will bring you." I the did guardians. wonder about the tree line where he's like, "You're not having the tree." It was just like, "Well, yeah, because you've already promised it to that other owl." Like, <laughs> <laughs> so in the like sequel, there's only so many trees. <laughs> so Sorry. I think what we can take away is that, like we're bad at recognizing different owls. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's like Transformers with feathers. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tagline. <laughs> if Shia LaBeouf had been in this, I would have been very happy. Just as himself, not like as a CG <laughs> owl. It's like him being like, whoa! Just he pops up as like the sign language interpretator of it in the bottom. Just going, you can do it! Do it! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's a bit of an unorthodox one you've joined us on. I mean, I'm still confused because I thought Gizzard was a character. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit creepy with all the actors going, Feel your Gizzard. <laughs> yeah. uh. I haven't oh, recovered God. from that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I feel like they, we, we, we're all still a little in shock. Yeah, just, yeah. A, just a wee bit. So I'm going to move us towards, because I feel like this might be a short cast. We're going to move towards final thoughts. Final, final, final thoughts. Um, let's go with Morton. Your final thoughts on Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. I would rename it. What would you name it as? <laughs> because of all its kind of like racial undertones, I would, oh, no. I would rename oh, it Australian History Owl. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Ray, 
I say? Your final thoughts, please, from the pit of... That's a really good adaption of a <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your owls get radicalized. <laughs> they get into weird areas. Jess, final thoughts. I mean, that was my only thought. <laughs> <laughs> you were purely on the racial angle and you're just like, man. No, I mean the gizzard thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. 90 minutes with one four. <laughs> just like, who the fuck is gizzard? <laughs> sure. Uh, so my sister has been trying to get me to watch this film for like 10 years. <laughs> And she's been saying like, oh, it's so violent. It and kind of is though. It's something, it is so much more violent than I thought it would be. I was, I was just thinking, oh, my sister's just not sensitized like I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's that thing of like, even though I didn't really know what the hell was going on, it's still quite entertaining. It's a good laugh. Uh, yeah. On, on the DVD, it's like from the studio that bought you happy feet. Imagine his pants. Oh, 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 the dancing penguins were great fun for my kid. No, and that's how else. decapitation <laughs> <enough. Fair. laughs> Eglantine no. looks like a penguin chick for a lot of the film when yes. you couldn't see their feet. Yeah. Also, again, that okay. That's my final thought. You cannot name a fully hatched bird egg. <laughs> Shouldn't be done. Yeah. No. Step too far. It's like naming a giraffe horse. Like, it's just, no. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. No, just naming a bird. Did you, not, did you never, <laughs> did you never watch GMTV when you were younger? <laughs> and like, each time something was born at a zoo, there'd be a phoning competition to name it. <laughs> I was what? always I was always the child that would want to name an animal than just another animal to confuse it. <laughs> this why, is would a... the, why would that animal be confused? No, just <laughs> to, confuse, to confuse the average GMTV watcher. Oh, and this is horse the giraffe. <laughs> yeah, this is panda the lion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of see the logic. <laughs> EJ, help! Why not horse the beast? <laughs> This Why podcast is in a spiral. I can't help you with this. <laughs> give me a, give me what you got. Uh, I don't have anything after watching this movie. Uh, <laughs> it is one of the best movies we've seen on this podcast. <laughs> Set, would, we, would, would we agree the second best film we've seen? Absolutely. Or at least I think the most consensus in enjoyment. Yeah. Because yeah. like you compare it to like Baby Driver where we were like, yeah, it was good, but... Uh, I fucking love that film. It's yeah, it's a good film. Okay, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was a good. Film. We did a whole more enjoyable some in some ways. Yes. Also, because we didn't have a, like a an audience around us, so we made noise. Oh yeah. yeah. We got to like do a bit more of the old riffing Jesus. off things. Imagine if we'd watch this in a cinema. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'd hate us then, wouldn't they? It would have had me like fucking pulling out a lute and trying to compose songs <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> got out in front oh, of the Oh mate. Stream one and just started playing. So, as you'll as you'll be aware, dear viewer. Uh, uh, should I final thoughts? Oh yeah, you started your final thoughts and then got T-boned. Uh, in my head, I didn't like the film, but in my gizzard, oh! I loved it. <laughs> oh. Shay's gizzard all along. Shay's cameo. Um, um, so this has been a a a you know a, a respite from our breakneck schedule of watching modern films. I don't know what the next one's going to be, but I know that as long as I trust my gizzard, we'll find the right project for the next episode. Ah,